two weeks is a long time to wait for any sporting contest, and it certainly is a very long time to wait for the Super Bowl. Now, the teams like this because two weeks allows them, if, if only, to let their players rest and maybe recover from a recent injury. It's a wonderful thing to have two weeks, but the fans don't need it. Um, the fans know the teams. Uh, the fans know the players and the coaches. And most of the fans actually know as much about the game, if not more, than the endless stream of analysts we see doing a breakdown of game day strategy uh, and the respective team's records. For this Super Bowl, I would suggest that the average fan spend most of his time listening to a band called The Who. The Who will be the halftime entertainment. Now, if you're under 40 years old, you barely know who The Who are. Uh, you've probably never really heard their music. If you're over 40, you know they're one of the best bands in the history of rock and roll. The Who is Pete Townsend, Roger Daltrey, Keith Moon, and John Entwistle. Keith Moon is gone, and so is John Entwistle. The music you hear, going back 42 years, will amaze you. Starting with the first rock opera, Tommy, and on to Quadrophenia, who's next, Live at Leeds, and many, many other albums. This is one of the greatest rock bands of all time. Not nearly as famous as the Beatles or the Stones, and maybe considered second rate by some fans and enthusiasts uh, compared to, say, Led Zeppelin. But the Who is going to make a statement on February 7th. The Who was perhaps the most innovative and influential of the rock bands that survived the 1960s. And remember, the Beatles, unfortunately, did not survive the 1960s. Pete Townsend was a genius. Roger Daltrey is the greatest lead singer of all time. And Moon and Entwistle were outstanding musicians. Enjoy the show.